Welcome to your weekly World Climate Change News Report. Our headlines this week are Researchers expect more extremes in wet and dry seasons. NASA predicts more hurricanes and wildfires. Coronavirus and climate change boost humanitarian crisis. Climate action requires systematic decarbonization. Deadly heat waves across Africa. Ventilation corridors to fight high temperatures and the UNCCD and Azerbaijan join hands for water security. Our first story, researchers expect more extremes in wet and dry seasons. According to a research from Clemson University, climate change will lead to more rainfall as well as more water evaporation. Consequently, dry seasons around the world will become drier and wet seasons will become wetter. The study analyzed annual precipitation and its fluctuations through the seasons for different regions from 1971 through 2000. The data was used to predict future water availability during each region's three wettest months and three driest months. Our second story, NASA predicts more hurricanes and wildfires. Due to climate change, the world can expect more hurricanes and wildfires in the coming months. Yang Chen of the University of California has stated how climate change is likely to make some areas get drier and more flammable conditions that would allow for fires and deforestation or agricultural use to spread. Unfortunately, NASA's risk models suggest that the areas that were most affected by wildfires in 2019 are most likely to be targeted again. Our third story, coronavirus and climate change boost humanitarian crisis. In a recent statement by the UN Human Rights Council, it has been revealed that nearly 200 million people will require humanitarian assistance by the year 2022 due to the impact of the coronavirus pandemic, exacerbating the climate change crisis. Sexual abuse, insecurity, lack of health care, and displacement due to climate change are some of the causes, with women and girls being at a greater risk. These issues are globally widespread, found from Venezuela to Myanmar. Our fourth story, climate action requires systematic decarbonization. Although Europe has already agreed to ambitious carbon neutrality targets, Experts say strict targets are needed to achieve a 1.5 degree pathway for climate change mitigation. EIT Climate KIC argues that successful climate change mitigation will not be realized within the confines of the existing business landscapes. Rather, systematic change on policy, education, finance, and innovation is needed to enable large-scale decarbonization to occur and secure Europe's position as the global leader on climate action. Our fifth story, deadly heat waves across Africa. Research has shown that the Middle East, South America, and parts of Africa have experienced the biggest increasing trends in frequency, duration, and cumulative heat since the 1950s due to climate change. Climate projections over sub-Saharan Africa suggest that heat waves are set to become even hotter and life-threatening, even if the global average temperature is restricted within 1.5 degrees Celsius. It's also been found that heat-related deaths are underreported, which is putting more lives in danger. Our next story, ventilation corridors to fight high temperatures. To fight climate change-induced high temperatures, Frankfurt decided to create ventilation corridors. These corridors are stretches of land with no buildings or trees to facilitate airflow in the city. The concrete roads absorb heat and human activity makes the place much hotter. Green roof installation has also been put into place as they help with natural insulation, alongside cooling. 
June 2020 was the hottest month on record, and Frankfurt was one of the hottest cities in Germany. And now for our final story, UNCCD and Azerbaijan join hands for water security. United Nations agencies provide support to mitigate drought and water shortages. Climate change has caused an increase in the average temperature up to 1.4 degrees, accompanied by a reduction of river flow between 2021 and 2050. The Executive Secretary of the UNCCD discussed with the Minister of Ecology and Natural Resources of Azerbaijan discuss the effects of climate change in Azerbaijan. The severe consequences of drought and water insecurity on social and economic development were also mentioned. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for weekly World Climate Change News updates.